All right, what's going on, guys? Hope you all are doing well. So we've got a lot to talk about today with Halo Infinite, a bunch of new leaked game modes and just generally new leaked content that should be coming to the game at some point very soon. Now, 343 has been pretty silent over the past couple days, obviously due to the holidays. So we don't really have a roadmap going forward, you know, necessarily concrete. We had to gather a lot of this information ourselves, but luckily we have actually a pretty good idea of what we're going to be getting when 343 is back in development and you know the next coming weeks of halo infinite and what it should look like so hopefully this will be a pretty interesting video today and i hope you guys do enjoy if you do i would really appreciate a thumbs up on the video and if you're brand new to the channel be sure to go and subscribe as well as around 80 percent of my viewers are not currently subbed if you want to stay up to date with halo infinite and everything happening in this game then this is the place to be so over the past few days 343 have been asking the community for feedback and things that they want added or tweaked in halo infinite and a lot of the replies have been added to essentially their playbook and what they're going to be looking at for the upcoming year and some of those things are already in development which we'll get into in a second but one of the things I did want to discuss was changes to the ranking system and potentially even adding a rank that's more exclusive or higher than Onyx this is something that 343 has been getting feedback about quite a lot and I could see this change being made to be honest ranking does need a little bit of tweaking as is right now and I think if they're going to undergo a lot of changes from the ground up this might actually be a good opportunity to add another higher rank than onyx as for now i wouldn't expect to see changes to the ranking system at least until 343 is back in business but there are a few new modes that have yet to officially be announced that we know are being worked on right now so we have medals and assets for king of the hill infection assault vip and also extraction now as we have more than just medals like a lot of the assets in game literally exist for these modes as well i don't expect all of these to drop at the same time if anything i would say that a select few of these are going to come out you know during a certain week and then the other ones will be added shortly thereafter i don't expect all of these modes to hit the game at the exact same time i'm going to assume the ones that are closest to being completed in development are going to be the ones that are shipped first and as we can see extraction is pretty much already done all the assets are in place and the structure is there so i think this is probably going to be one of the nearest upcoming ones that we get once 343 is back in action and in the studio again also the other modes like king of the hill and infection also will probably be coming shortly thereafter now i also do expect free for all is going to be getting some tweaks at some point this is something 343 has been getting an unbelievable amount of feedback on and myself included as well i don't think free for all really plays exceptionally well in infinite i think a lot of it has to do with the maps to alleviate this problem, I really feel like Free For All needs its own exclusive map rotation, but that's going to require like a lot of dev time, and I don't know if that's number one on the priority list right now, but I, I would suspect at some point during Halo Infinite's life cycle, we're going to see some changes or tweaks to Free For All. Now, also, we got some leaks uh, that there are assets in the game for multi-team, which is really good news. This is a mode that I was hoping for that we would see at some point during Infinite's life cycle, and it looks like it, it's not currently done yet, like it's not fully developed but this one is on the way and just based on how far along a lot of things are i expect that things like infection and king of the hill all of those other modes that already have their you know medals and assets implemented are going to be added before multi-team is done i could be wrong about that but we'll have to wait and see all in all though we've got a solid selection of new modes to look forward to in the coming future i'm just not really sure why they've been so silent about this for like you know the past couple of weeks even before the holiday days like even just to let us know that they're working on these modes kind of would be great but otherwise you know we'll do it here but in terms of new content that isn't game modes, we're also getting a few new weapons at some point. So interestingly, there is a model for the, you know, more standard Covenant Carbine in the game, but it doesn't have like any first person models or animations. So that stuff is not yet implemented. It could be added very easily with, you know, a couple new updates, I'm sure. But this is a weapon that currently exists. It's just not functional. Now, the reason I bring that up is because they are actually working on adding a few new weapons and maybe even bringing in porting some old ones into the game now if you ask me the few weapons that i would like to see return to infinite are the original shotgun the smg and also the brute shot i think would be good you know alongside the covenant carbine which we assume is being worked on now as some of you may be familiar i made a video about this a few weeks ago but there's a bunch of variants of the already existing weapons in halo infinite that aren't in the multiplayer technically they're made for the single player in the campaign but through certain special means you can access them in multiplayer 
I really think it's a missed opportunity to not include these in their own playlist to some degree. Like, even if it were, like, a Fiesta playlist with all of these variants, I think it would be, you know, chaotic, obviously. But that could be quite fun. It would be a really nice mix-up from the original Fiesta, which I think is okay at this point in the game, but doesn't have really the, the spice it needs. If it's going to be taking a little while before new guns are implemented or even, you know, added to Fiesta, I feel like just rearranging the playlist and adding the variants to it would make that mode significantly better so we'll wait to see on that one as well also if you're not there are new maps in development and they're being worked on we just don't know when their implementation is going to be seen now a lot of people are su suspecting it to be around season two and the weird thing is the only thing we really know for sure about season two is the inclusion of co-op campaign but other than that there's nothing been really set in stone or they haven't laid anything out in a roadmap now that's not to say obviously there is only going to be co-op campaign for season two that's clearly not going to be the case a lot of these leaked modes that we've talked about out, I actually think will be released near or around season two. Now, another thing we know they're working on, but isn't necessarily new content, are fixes for big team battle. When Infinite launched, this was like my favorite thing to play, but ever so recently, it's just straight up been not working. And a lot of you guys in my comments have pointed this out. A lot of people on Twitter and Reddit have also been quite upset about this situation, but big team battle just is straight up not functioning in the game. They tried, you know, dropping down the player count to, I believe, 10 players to help matchmaking and even then it still wasn't working all that well so at this point it's really not even worth trying until they fix it I noticed a lot recently as well the community has been asking for firefight to return and also forge mode now I, I'm going to tackle these two separately forge mode is something that is literally currently being worked on but I don't think we're going to see it probably until season three at the bare minimum firefight I'm not entirely sure about I think if they wanted to it could be implemented earlier but currently we don't have any assets that I know of that you know represent it in the game or indicate that it's at least being developed although I wouldn't count it out completely as far as forge mode goes I think we're literally just gonna have to sit here and wait until season three for it to be released hopefully it's good though like that the thing is as long as forge mode is functional and everything works properly I, I think it'll it'll land well but we don't want them to rush it and it just to straight up not work either another big one that 343 needs to look at is either uh, optimizations to their anti-cheat or just straight up a rework work of it now it's really tricky because 343 can't talk about a whole lot what they're doing with anti-cheat because that will essentially give cheaters an easier workaround to the uh you know the defenses that they're putting up this is something that every game has to deal with so i'm hoping that to some degree they figure out the cheating situation now while it's not the worst i've seen in any video game it has been uh an increasing problem in my matches recently i can only speak for myself but i would love to know your guys experiences with how cheating has has been generally speaking in your games but this is one of those things that I don't know if they're even going to include on the roadmap that being said it doesn't mean they're not working on it because they can't really talk about it without giving details to people that otherwise want to work around the system it's a very tricky thing in game dev also another big one that's being worked on is hopefully the microtransaction system being more easily integrated in with the battle pass or just reworked to some degree because the other day uh 343 added a new microtransaction that that is a Master Chief voice pack and literally that alone is $20. Now, I'll be real, I've spent my fair share of money on microtransactions so far in Infinite. You know, it's a game that I actively play, so there's nothing wrong with dropping a few dollars on a game you really like, but at the same time, something like this that could easily be integrated either in the Battle Pass or just not be $20 for a voice pack. In my opinion, this is easily the most overpriced item we've seen thus far in the shop. So, a lot of people are suggesting a rework where you can basically earn credits through the battle pass like you earn a small amount every few levels you get or so and that can actually help you you know buy some of the things you want in the store that aren't tied to the battle pass that's something that you know like call of duty does that i think that's a decent idea now hopefully we get some official word from that on 343 very soon and as soon as we do i'll be sure to let you guys know in a video now another question you might be asking yourself is why haven't they made a roadmap for this stuff or even talked about what they're going to be doing the reason i believe is because they're not 
not entirely confident or sure as to exactly the direction they're taking the game yet as they're still molding it through community feedback which is a good thing but it means that we don't have a solid foundation necessarily on where things are headed although we do have you know the leaked game modes that are being worked on and stuff like that so we kind of have to piece the puzzle together ourselves but to some extent I think that makes it exciting because we can still mold the game and the direction it's headed isn't completely set in stone but it would be nice to have some kind of general roadmap of what to expect but I hope I was able to at least provide a decently clear picture of that uh in this video so if you guys did enjoy i would really appreciate a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts down below in the comments about the next upcoming halo infinite content and anything in particular you want to see in the game either added tweaked or just completely brand new let me know as well but yeah that's gonna be pretty much it for the video i hope you guys did enjoy make sure to drop a like before you go subscribe if you are new to the channel and i also do stream over on twitch if you don't follow me link to that is in the description but have a great rest of your day guys and i will see you all in the next one take it easy and peace out